The game-changing election of 2014 were fought on the double axis of Vikas projected as the primary axis and Hindutva as the second one. It was also greatly helped by the projected and perceived declining legitimacy of UPA2 regime in the cacophony of media hype and the Anna Hazari Shuad Jantar Mantar sponsored and sustained by the Rashtriya Swam Sevak Sam RSS within a few imaginary statistics implying unbounded corruption thrown in by some constitutional authorities. Over the past seven years of the Modi government's unprecedented failure on the Vikas front and spectacular success on the Hindutva front has brought into high relief the reality of the double axis. It was Vikas that was secondary, social decisiveness was primary. So far, the current regime did appear to have succeeded in getting a substantial segment of Indian society to subordinate its economic aspirations and to be prepared to suffer life's enormous hardship for the sake of the higher ideal of Hindutva. Of course, the success was duly aided by airtight control over information, severe repression of dissent and creating fear through government agencies. Midnight knock or and mobilization of non-state agencies for attacking unarmed citizens like the ones at Jawaharlal Nehru University and Northeast Delhi 